Okay, y'all, so I just got to Dr. Franco's office in Austin. I live in Houston, if you don't know that, so it's about a three hour drive, but I just got here for my pre-op appointment. I am getting my boobs done. I haven't talked about it on stories, which is so weird for me because I normally tell you guys when I'm doing anything, but since it was surgery, I just didn't want to be freaked out before and have anyone tell me any like horror stories of their sisters, cousins, roommates, so I've decided to vlog it instead so you guys could still come along with me. I'm about to go in, and then I will, of course, introduce you guys to my surgeon, Dr. Franco. I will tell you guys all about the size that we're going. You're not gonna see it though, because it's not that kind of YouTube channel. But the these videos were so helpful when I was looking into potentially getting a boob job, which I wanted for about 10 years. So I've done a lot of research and I thought these videos were so helpful. If plastic surgery isn't your thing or you don't agree with it, then this would be a great time to turn off the video. But if you are interested in getting your boobs done, I hope this is a resource for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm in Dr. Franco's office. They have me in a little robe because we're gonna take some photos before. Um, and then how you figure out your sizing is they give you this bra and then that has no padding or anything in it. And then you put on different sizes so you can actually see what your boobs will look like at a certain size. So I will show you guys the size that we picked. In my consultation, we did um, already look at them, but today we'll make the final decision. This one's a little bit bigger than this one, so we'll set a size for the, you know, one of the breast, and then that okay. way, like, if we do the bigger one and we decide 440 or whatever, then I'll put the size in, and that way we can match you up. You know, okay. I don't think you're so huge that it's going to be way off, but maybe one implant different or so forth. Okay. okay, so you guys can see that I'm wearing the bra that I was talking about. So my boobs are two different sizes. Um, this one's a little larger than this one. So this one, he said he was going to put a 500, maybe 505, now I'm forgetting, in this breast, and then and this one we are going to do a 470. I'm currently wearing the boob mock-up of about a 450 but he said it's a little smaller than what it actually looks like so you want to bump up the size so that is what we are doing. I love them I think because I am thicker on the bottom and my waist goes in that this size will definitely make me have more of an hourglass figure and it's what Dr. Franco the second he saw me recommended and after I tried on tons of sizes, it is the size that I also liked the best too, so he really knows what he's talking about. I'm Dr. <laughs> Johnny Franco here in Austin, Texas, so hopefully you guys follow us. Austin Plastic Surgeon is our Instagram handle, but um, today we did a little pre-op visit, which we go over all the pre-surgery stuff and so forth, but the most important and probably the hardest Maybe most more for her, not for me, but is <laughs> sizing, which can be extremely hard. Uh, sometimes just because sizes vary from person to person, everybody's a little bit different. And so one of the cool things is we just put some implants in, let her look in the mirror and see, I like it or I don't. So we tried a bunch of different sizes, kind of right in that 450 range, which is a great size because you can dress them up, dress them down. So I think she'll love it. Absolutely fabulous. See you guys soon. Okay, you guys, I'm finally home the entire way from Austin to Houston. It stormed the, the whole time, and I don't know how my hair might actually look better than it did before getting rained on. I don't understand. Um, I did have to go to three pharmacies to pick up all of my drugs. I have seven of them total, and a few of them I have to start taking tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also picked up my Hippoclins, which it is this, if I can bust into it. Oh, I can. Um, it's just this little wash. So I will shower with this tonight. And then as the girls are healing, I will also be using this. Um, the only other thing I had to do to prep for surgery was I have like these really long nails that I keep. It's actually my real nail. And so I had to take the powder off of my pointer fingers. Um, something about surgery, you can't have these. So. I look a little crazy. They might make me cut these tomorrow in surgery, um, but since it is my real nail, I'm gonna really try <laughs> to preserve it. So now all I'm gonna do is pack for Austin tomorrow. I'm gonna shower with my HippoCleanse and then try to get some sleep, but I'm so nervous uh, that I don't actually know that I'll be able to do that. So I will bring you guys along with me tomorrow too. That might be a separate vlog though, depending on how this goes, but either way, I will see you guys tomorrow.